Alrighty, we're going to do a rolling bind. I've taught everybody how to do a bind step. Three steps and a touch. Our weight's on our left. The bind is right, left, right, and touch. A rolling bind is simply adding two half turns when you're doing those three steps. Okay? My weight's on my left. If I'm going to roll, I'm going to step to the side for step three. For step one, excuse me. Um, this is step one. Now I'm going to pivot on this right foot and I'm going to face the back wall or I'll be facing you. So this is one, two. Now I'm going to have my weight on my left foot and I'll pivot around to face the back wall again, which I will be away from you. Three, and touch. So we still did three steps and a touch. We rolled or we turned, and they're half turns. So it's one, two, three, and touch. One, two, three, and touch. And you can start turning on the first step if you want, if you think it's easier. One, two, three, and touch. As long as you face that other wall, you can adjust the steps to whatever works for you, especially if you have a bad knee or a bad back, make it work for you. If you don't like turning at all and everybody's doing rolling, rolling vine, you do not have to. A regular vine does the same steps and fits right in. So just because people are turning, it doesn't mean you have to turn also. So a rolling vine is easily replaced with a regular vine. They're both three steps and a touch. Okay? If you want to practice the rolling one because you like to spin, go for it. One, one, two, three, and touch. One, two, three, and touch. So if you're going to the left, you're going counterclockwise. One, two, three, and touch. If you're going to the right, you're going clockwise. One, two, three, and touch. So practice it. If you like the spinning, great. If not, regular mind will fix it.